STEM, and uh, people yeah. may not know this, and I think it's right, that you were a dance major in Sarah, Sarah Lawrence, Keep going. communications major at Northwestern, and it didn't turn out so bad. I mean, congressman, White House chief of staff, now mayor running for re-election. I'm waiting for the pipeline. So the question is, like 30 years from now, mm -hmm. is there a place for people with an education like yours <laughs> doing uh, as well as you've done without STEM? <laughs> It's, it's kind of a softball. You, know, it's kind of you, a softball. you didn't mention the fact that I can't turn on my TV without my 16-year-old, uh, <laughs> which a STEM education would have helped. Uh, look, if you want to, if you let me say it this way. First of all, I do think it was uh, Alan who mentioned it's really STEAM because I do include arts in there, which is also why we make the summer of learning about STEAM. Uh, an arts education, now as you know, and since we decided to tell the students, I did. I have it. I did do the ballet and I did the dance. I did not pursue what was a possible career in it, but the discipline that came with dancing as a young boy actually prepared me for politics, for the criticism. <laughs> Why did you get uh, criticism? Number one. Number two, let me say this. I believe, I believe firmly in a liberal arts education. I was actually at an L stop this morning on the blue line. I'll just tell you, I happened to talk to a young man, I just talked to a student. And I said, I went in as a dancer, studied early childhood education, wanted to be a Montessori teacher, and came out wanting to do public service. Don't go in knowing exactly what you're going to do, but make sure you're open to other ideas. And as I said in these remarks, you may not pursue a career based on a STEM education, the meaning of something specifically working at a nuclear facility or at a smart grid implementation. But it has now become technology, engineering and math, has become a foundational piece of education that for the jobs of tomorrow, regardless of the field, you're going to need a STEM education. You go to any plant, manufacturing plant across the city of Chicago, it is more math and science and technology than it is doing widgets. A testament to the transformation technology is having across all types of fields. So while I'm a big advocate for liberal arts education, in the end of the day, what's the international baccalaureate? A liberal arts education, just at an earlier year. I am uh, cognizant of the fact that you could do what I did without a STEM education in the past. That's not true for tomorrow and the future, which is why Chicago is taking the leadership in the country as a city that's been adopted code writing and computer code writing as a part of the education because it is going to be a necessity of tomorrow's uh, workforce.